Hey everyone, welcome to Coffee and Crafting. If you are new to my channel, my name is Lori and welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. In today's video, I have six beautiful home decor DIYs using decoupage paper. So if you like home projects, thrift makeovers, and easy to make home decor all on the budget, then I hope you will consider to subscribe to my channel and join my DIY family. So grab a coffee, or your favorite drink, and let's start. For this DIY, I have two canvases from the Dollar Tree. I painted the sides with the carriage house color from Fusion. I have a piece of decoupage paper that has four different flower pictures. I cut two for the canvases. I brush DIY liquid patina on the canvases and place the decoupage paper on top. I sand the edges with a sanding block to remove the excess paper. I brushed antique wax on the edges to get the pictures more of an antique look. These two canvases turned out beautiful and they were easy and simple to do. They have beautiful warm colors and the flowers look so realistic. I placed these beauties in my bathroom on the wall. For this DIY, I have a wall hanging from the thrift store. I painted the wall hanging with the linen white chalk paint from Rustoleum. I 
I painted the sides of the wall hanging with the color Champlain from Fusion. I have a beautiful piece of decoupage paper and I'll link in the description where I purchased my supplies for you along with a discount code of 10% off of your first order. I brushed DIY liquid patina on the top of the wall hanging and placed the paper on top smoothing out the wrinkles with my hand lightly. I sanded the excess paper with a sanding block. And to finish this easy makeover, I brushed antique wax along the edges to get more of a vintage antique look. I love this decoupage paper. The blue blending with the antique background is so pretty. And this beauty is in my office on the wall. For this DIY, I found a cutting board at the thrift store, or at least that's why I think it is. I removed the sticker off the back and cleaned it. I painted the wood part with the linen white chalk paint from rust and gave it two coats of paint. I have a beautiful piece of decoupage paper with a cowl on it. I brushed DIY liquid patina on the board and started at the top work my way to the bottom, lightly brushing my hand on the paper to remove any wrinkles. I sanded the excess paper using a sanding block and then removed the excess paper from the circle at the top.
I sealed the paper with the coat of DIY liquid patina. I have a basket from the dollar store. I attached it at the bottom using two screws. I hung this beauty on the side of my cabinet in the kitchen and I absolutely love this DIY. It's very farmhouse French country and I can use the basket for fruit, flowers, or even a plant. This is my favorite DIY so far this year. Let me know in the comments what you think of this one. For this DIY, I have a sign from the Dollar Tree from last year. I removed the hanger and turned it over to the other side. I painted the sign with the linen white chalk paint from rust -Oleum. Looking for my mother's eyes as I'm staying close to the mirror. A lock of gold, a secret smile. Little I painted the top and bottom of the sign with the carriage house color paint. I have a really pretty flower French country style decoupage paper. I sprayed water along the edges and used my fingers to remove the excess paper. I brush DIY liquid patina on the sign and place the paper at the top, working my way to the bottom. I brushed antique wax from Waverly along the sides to blend the paper together with the white part. I brushed antique wax on the top and bottom part to get more of a rustic antique look. No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I, I really wanna know and to finish this DIY, I glued a piece of twine ribbon at the top for the hanger and a burlap flower from the Dollar Tree in the top corner. 
Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. I love how this turned out. This is another piece to add to my back porch makeover that I will be doing in early spring. So stay tuned for that home project makeover video. Let me know in the comments what you think of this one. For this DIY, I have a wood box from the thrift store. I painted the front of the box with the linen white chalk paint from Rustoleum. I have another beautiful piece of decoupage paper. I brushed DIY liquid patina on the front of the box and placed the decoupage paper on top. I used my brayer to roll out any wrinkles. I use the sanding block to remove the excess paper. And to finish this DIY, I brushed antique wax from Waverly on the ends that didn't get covered with the decoupage paper, wiping off the excess so the ends didn't look too white. I think this box turned out beautiful. It definitely fits in with my farmhouse country style in my kitchen. I think flowers or greenery will look beautiful inside or even candles. Let me know what you would do with this box.
For this DIY, I have a wood rolling pin. I painted the ends of the rolling pin with the carriage house color from Fusion. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers. I brushed DIY liquid patina in the middle of the rolling pin and placed a beautiful piece of farmhouse country decoupage paper on it. The piece was a perfect length for the size of the roller. The ends met up with no gap. What's your type? Somehow I wanna know all about you. Deep connection, lights a spark. You already know me when we dance in the dark. We're dreamers. I collect rolling pins and I think this one is a great addition to my collection. I place this beauty on my china hutch in my kitchen. I hope I inspired you today with some new ideas using decoupage paper to create beautiful decor pieces for your home this spring. I want to say thank you so much for joining me today and I hope I'll see you in my next video. So until then, have a beautiful day and bye for now.